I don't want to live past 50, some of my father's friends would say, because, you know, you lose your teeth, your hearing goes, you start to, your vision goes. There's not no point in you losing your... Yeah, but then the guy approaches 50, they raise it to 60. Then he hits 60, he wants to live to 70. That No one wants to die. The human condition is that we all want to live. We all have this tremendous life force in us. But with Obamacare, you want to make it political for you, you're not going to live that long anyway in time. They're going to start soil and greening you. They're going to ship you into outer space. They're going to deny you medical care. That's what's going to happen. Who knows where this country is going to go? Could you imagine? Can you look ahead 20 years with the surge of illegals that he's bringing in? Can you look ahead 20 years with the surge of military-age Muslims who are misogynistic that he's bringing in what's going to happen to this country? Think 20 years ahead. No, don't do it. Don't think 20 years ahead because it'll really get you sick. That's why people say to me, well, if Trump wins... What do you think one man can actually do overnight? Almost nothing. And then I, I wanted to cover this topic today, and I've been avoiding it like the plague. I'm going to do it right now. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, <clears throat> it's the people that Obama has put in place that are going to still be there. Let's say Trump wins, and let's say he follows through on 80% of what he promises. Okay? You take a look at the people that Obama's planted into positions that you can't get them out except by executive decree. I'll give you one example. U.S. Civil Rights Division, a man named Perez, one of the most fanatical leftists in the history of the world, was put in there by Obama as a virtual poison pill. He is putting in laws to make businesses almost inoperable. Virtually everything is a civil rights violation to him. How are we going to get rid of bureaucrats like that that are now running the federal government? Even if, if, uh, if he wins. And I could go a step further. I'll, I'm going to make this a very interesting topic, so you better call quickly on this. Jim, this is the only topic, Jim, that I want calls on, Jim. Here it is. The ACLU, one group. CAIR, another group. Southern Poverty Law Center, another group. Name the ten most dangerous leftist extra governmental organizations that need need to be taken down when Donald Trump becomes president name the 10 organizations that have done and are doing the most damage to the american way name the 10 organizations that you know of need to be uh exposed the leadership needs to be called before congress their funding needs to be traced to all sources and we need to examine them break them up like the old monopolies they are Break up these leftist organizations to save America. The number one head of the snake is the ACLU. They must be broken apart. Now, if I say to you the way to do it is to start it with a UAC investigation, I know what's going to happen. That's the House of Un-American Activities Committee. The left will go insane. Because they'll say you're violating our civil rights, that you do not have probable cause to bring people in to investigate them. And they may be right. So tell me how a, a society uh, that is open like ours, that is democratic like ours, survives when you have enemies of freedom, enemies of democracy, destroying society by using the very freedoms that we have in place because of the Constitution. Tell me what you would do. This is the conundrum we are facing. This is probably the most important question of our time, which is how do you protect civil liberties if you even want to put that above everything else. I mean, should you put civil liberties above survival? Because without survival, my friends, what good are your civil liberties? That's the problem. And that's going to lead us down roads we may not want to go, but I want to go with the, down these roads with you now. How do you get rid of the ACLU, the Southern Poverty Law Center, CAIR, and all the damage they're doing, in my opinion, to this country, and name the other organizations that are doing damage that I may, that I may have uh, not listed. Okay? That's what I want to do for the next 15 to 20 minutes on the Savage Nation. Back in a moment. Alright, so look, here's your chance to shine on the Savage Nation and make a difference. I say this. There are very dangerous left-wing groups that have undermined our entire society. Chief amongst them is the ACLU. I would say second amongst them would be CAIR. That's my opinion. Uh, running a close third would be the Southern Poverty Law Center. What other groups do you think need to be investigated by the new Congress come 2017? 
and investigated for, let us say, subversive activities to undermine the Constitution and the American way. I know these are very loaded statements, very powerful statements that are sure to rattle the nerves of everyone, both right, left, and center, including libertarians. But I'm going to talk about them because as far as I'm concerned, just getting a new president has some meaning. Look at what one man has done to this country in only seven years. Okay? So one man can make a huge difference, especially when he's as demonic and as anti-American as Obama. Huge difference, one man. So one patriot can make a big difference. But they're going to need our help. We're going to have to advise the new president, who I hope will be Donald Trump, in a landslide against the old hag. When Trump wins against the old hag in a landslide and sends her packing back to Arkansas, we're going to have our work cut out for us. And that's going to be, name the organizations that we want investigated. I've named a few. Who would you name? KBET Radio. Mike, go ahead, please. Who is, in your mind, undermining the American way? Which group? La Raza. The race. Here in Las Vegas, they're destroying our schools. We're the number 50th school system in the country now. Do you know that the former head of La Raza, a woman with the name of Cecilia Munoz, M-U-N-O-Z, one of the most radical individuals in American political history is now sitting inside the Oval Office as a special advisor to Barry. Did you know that? Unbelievable. She was moved in there within the last year by Barry. She did such a good job undermining America that he, he award, rewarded her by bringing her into the Oval Office itself. This is how far the bold weevils have gone. This is how far this government has been penetrated. So thanks for putting them on the list. Who are the other groups that you think are undermining the American way? Now, don't just throw a name out without thinking. And don't put up names that get us all in trouble. We're talking about radical, left-wing, anti-American, anti-social order organizations who spend every waking minute thinking how they can disrupt and destroy the society. That's what we're talking about. WJJF Radio. Lori, who's on your list? Lori, are you there? No, nobody there. One group is a uh, is we're actually paying for is worse than Acorn ever could have possibly have been, and it's called Welcoming America, and it's an initiative rolling out across the country, and there the progressives are going into individual cities, mostly inner cities, where they can get enough support because there's so much tax dollars going into this organization to welcome immigrants, illegals, and to give them set them up on welfare to provide all of the the, uh, the the services that they provide. And so all of the nonprofits are go, are, are, they have their hands out to service. Got it. Uh, okay, let's look no further. We're looking now for a list of the most anti-American, the most disruptive anti-American progressive so-called organizations in America that need to be completely uncoupled and exposed by the next president. Look no further than those who have received direct funding and assistance from George Soros and his so-called Open Society Institute. Here they are. Advancement Project. All of Us or None. Alliance for Justice. America Coming Together. America Votes. America's Voice. American Bar Association. Commission on Immigration Policy. American Bridge, 21st Century. The ACLU. American Constitution Society for Law and Policy, American Family Voices. I can name many more of them. These are the groups that should be investigated when Donald Trump becomes president. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Well, hopefully we'll soon be rid of this left-wing band of anti-Americans, uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But they will leave behind in their wake 
deeply implanted in the federal government, in academia, and in the news media, their cohorts. And so don't expect big changes, even should Donald Trump win by that big landslide against that uh, fabulous human being, Hillary Clinton. The question I'm asking, I think, is an important and interesting one, which is this. Name the subversive organizations or the organizations you consider to be so far off the ken of the American way that they are, in fact, subversive, meaning that they spend all of their resources going against the the wishes of the taxpayer that broadens it quite a bit doesn't it now many of them are funded by george soros not all of them so let's see what that would include <clears throat> what do the taxpayers want does the average taxpayer want more immigrants or fewer immigrants you know the answer most want no immigrants so you have groups that are working around the clock to bring in floods upon floods a virtual tsunami of undigestible an undigestible amount or number of refugees, immigrants, whatever you want to call them, especially from third world nations that hate us, people who will never, ever integrate into this society, who will spend their every waking minute hating this society, many of whom will go off like rockets. So those groups would be on the top of my list. The top of that list is the ACLU. That's the head of the snake. In fact, if Donald Trump becomes president, I'd like to be appointed as the special prosecutor for this committee. And I'd like to bring the heads of these organizations up for a little questioning by me, and they can defend themselves and say, we're not subversive, we're not anti-American, we just believe in immigration. Oh, really, where do you get your funding from? How much of your funding comes from foreign governments? How much has the Mexican government contributed through front groups, for example? There are other organizations, and I'd like you to try to name some of them. I named them in the last hour, and I think this is perhaps a very important topic and one that will be a continual theme of this show throughout uh, the coming months. So let's go to the callers now on which groups do you think are, if you want to call them subversive, that's a loaded term, that's fine, because some are outright subversive. George Soros spends all of his money on subversive elements in this country. How else would you explain a man who funds organizations that wants to flood America with Muslim men of military age from Syria and call anyone who opposes it a racist? What would you say, that's, good, that's healthy for the nation? Tell that to the women who are raped over there in Germany over New Year's Eve, if I'm making this up. What other organizations? You name them. Who are they? KSFO John, who's on your list? Hey, doctor. Thanks. Uh, you know, this is... You've hit on just a huge point, and you're absolutely right with Soros. Hillary Clinton and uh, John Podesta are uh, alleged principals in the creation of the Center for American Progress. And uh, Podesta, he was the one who, didn't he for like 18 months manage uh, President Obama's uh, revolt against the election? And now he's Hillary. Podesta uh, is a special advisor. He's one of the most dangerous snakes in the entire administration. There's no question. He has the enemies list. He's, he runs the enemies list for the Obama administration. He's an all-around fabulous American. Uh, but he's, he's an individual, not an organization. So I would say, which organizations do you think are dangerous for the survival of America? Who has done the most damage to the American way? Which organizations need to be investigated by the new government in 2017? These are important questions that I think need to be asked right now. I think we need to plan ahead, and I think we need to get them in our sights. I think we need to start collecting dossiers on these individuals. I think we need to start getting the names and the names of the organizations and get them in the hands of Donald Trump's campaign managers as soon as possible. So when he is elected and when he's inaugurated, day one he goes after these subversive organizations in order to stop the downward spiral of the United States of America. That's my speech. That's what I truly believe from the bottom of my heart. Because we can say all the things we want. From today until kingdom come, it's going to make, make not one bit of difference. These lawyers have twisted the laws so that you can't even defend yourself against them. And that's another thing that needs to be looked at. The American Bar Association itself is a subversive organization. If you look at what they have done, who they protect, and who they prosecute. So that's another organization that needs to be looked at. Will anything happen? I don't know. I have no idea where this can go. I don't know if Donald Trump is going to win. I know that none of the other candidates are capable of going after these organizations. How's that? And that, my friends, is why Trump is so hated. 
by the far left and why the media keeps smearing him. They know that the people 